right, today we're doing <laughs> questions on relationship problems. And we're going to try and come up with answers, which will be amusing, but hopefully helpful too. Hilarious, this was going to be. Okay, so the first question, please. I am having problems getting on with my mother-in-law. She's becoming too much for me to handle and seems to really hate me. She never has a good word to say for anyone, especially me. I have not done anything to her. I think she may be jealous of the closest relationship I have with my husband. What should I do? Dump the bitch. Is that a bit drastic? I don't know. So this must be a woman then. Ah, it is. her husband's mum that she doesn't get on with. Oh, well, I um, just don't see her anymore. I think that's all. <laughs> yeah, I just really wouldn't bother having that much to do with her, really. Let the husband go, and take the kids if you have there. them, or whatever. Yeah. It's... I just would not bother, really. I just thought that's, yeah. Okay, so next question. I am so tired of going out with men who are either married, control freaks, or just take advantage of me. Are there any good, trustworthy single men out there? Why can't I just have a decent guy in my life? Because you probably put them inside of your friend zone. You know the ones that's probably fancy her and you want nah, you're alright, I'm gonna hang around with this dick. Stop probably. putting decent people in the in the friends. Zone. Maybe, yeah. And also, I suppose. Oh, God, I completely forgot what that question was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's why. Right, so, right, so she can't find a decent bloke. No. Well, maybe she's not that great. Maybe there's a reason why. Maybe she's being too know. picky. Yeah. You know? Too fussy, maybe. Too so picky. Where maybe is it? go out with the one that's slightly fat and not very attractive. Because you probably treat you better than the one that's got all the money and thinks he's Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. Um, this person just wants someone to love. <laughs> with a question mark. Oh, you get both dolls or. Russian Brides. <laughs> um, they're like, quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know. know. Um, a puppy? Get a puppy! Yeah, Shadow. Everyone's got one of them. Yeah, I think they're talking about humans, you know. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> so they just want some, what they want someone to love, or they want someone to love them. Well, they just want someone to love. Well, that's easy. You can love anybody. Just become a stalker. Or you can always just sort of join, join a group. Back. Just, just join a group. You know, that's why I do. If I see a young lady out there jogging on her own, I normally drive quite close to her because, you know, there's a lot of weirdos out there. <laughs> right, next question. Why are relationships so difficult? Well, they're no, not really, are they? If you... Well, really, they're as difficult as you make them, I suppose. You know, if it's... Yeah, it doesn't have to be difficult, does it? No, it's only, yeah, it's only difficult as you make it. Go out, right, have fun, have a laugh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend is desperate for a baby, but I feel unwilling to proceed. What should I do? It, tell her, make sure you always wear a condom so that it doesn't happen. And by the sounds of it, you don't tell that kid I'm a kid in the first place, so yeah, yeah, just just wear two, two condoms, two of them, just in case. Abstain from sex entirely, that would be a good one. Exactly. Or just do... Anal. <laughs> there you go, safe all round. It's just all pregnant. You know, you can always push them down the stairs. You know, what's your thing you are? Maybe Got the gin, hot bath. Yeah, it's a job. You know. Yeah. Yeah, or just dump her. Yeah, you know, honestly, yeah. you know, you probably don't like her that much anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you might just find someone you want to have things with. It. <laughs> okay. This person has been on an on off relationship for years, and they just got back together, but she's scared he'll leave her again. Oh, I wouldn't bother. No. Just dump him. But be say. done with. That's it. It's clearly not worked all those other times. Just give it up. Yeah, you should Move never on. go back to your, to your past. Move on in life, you know. Find someone else who might be decent. It yeah. sounds like a knob that just keeps you, doing this to all the time. You might have had a nice pair of, of, of shoes, or say, at one point, and thought they were really comfy, but they were really old and tatty now, and you're thinking, do I go back to them? No, you don't. You go and buy some new shoes and have a whole new experience with them. You don't go back to the old. 
Move on with your life. Ready? <laughs> After a lot of consideration, I asked my girlfriend if she'd like to move in with me. She says she couldn't live in my flat because it wouldn't suit her and doesn't even have a power shower. She said if I get one installed, she will consider it. I am really offended. It took a lot of courage to ask the question and I feel like her answer is a massive rejection. Does it mean she doesn't love me? <laughs> Should I break out with her? What, with the power shower? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only reason she won't move in because there's no power shower. Tell us to fuck off then. Yeah, tell her get alive, Jesus. Yeah, it's so like... clearly it means nothing about being with me then. You just need to have your fucking power shower. I'm like, exactly, yeah. fuck you. I mean, under, I, I do understand that women have told me that there is a lot of enjoyment out of them power showers, but I'm pretty sure that's probably not the only reason why she yeah. wants the power shower. Done the bitch, done the bitch, yeah. Yeah, I'll out of it. Absolutely. That just, yeah, she sounds horrible. Yeah. My parents are keen to meet my new girlfriend, but what they don't know is that she has several tattoos and wears an ankle bracelet. Should I stop the meeting? <gasps> Not several tattoos and oh an ankle God. bracelet. That's devastating. Oh my she God. must be trying to do with Satan, the devil himself. Jesus. <laughs> Um, well, clearly, yeah. he must be embarrassed by this girlfriend then to worry about introducing her to the parents. So, well, yeah, if he's embarrassed by her, why the fuck is he with her in the first place? Definitely, yeah. He should go in there and go, well, this is my girlfriend. Yeah, be proud. That's it. Just Definitely. because she's got a tattoo, it doesn't stop her being a nice person. If she's a nice person, don't worry about it. And if your parents love you enough, they will accept whatever happens and be there for you anyway. Unless she's a complete bitch and then they won't. Yeah, then no. But, yeah, you know. Yeah, you live alone. Yeah. Just think this needs to be added. I'm going to get in trouble, but she's holding my hand. Should I tell my best mate that I'm in love with her? Are you male or female? Oh, Does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> We're not one to assume gender. Exactly. Run, uh, <laughs> Depends on how your friend is with you. The best thing to do, I reckon, would be to sort of ask her, but in a jokingly way, like, "Oh, look, me and you should get together," because yeah, that, that'd be that'd be good. Well, that'd be enough, and see how she reacts to it. If she's like, Pff, "Don't be silly," just go, "Oh yeah, I know." It's just, I'll just say it'd be funny, wouldn't it? I think he's already done this before. But if she pops up and says. Yeah, it's a good idea. The chance that oh, she's down with the idea as well. What if you were joking in the first place? Then she goes, yeah, seems like a good idea. Well, then don't joke point. about things like that in the first place. <laughs> um. And no, I haven't done it before. But that is my advice. I don't know really whether I think you should or not really. I suppose, yeah, you're right, it does really depend on how things are generally between the two of you. So yeah, you never know, give it a try, it might work, why not? Okay, well thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and And watching, obviously. Subscribe, easy. Well, at least you can comment on the bottom. I'm not really sure. And none of us have both talked at the same time, so none of us really know what we're saying. Sorry, yeah. No, that's why I was my fault while I was talking about you. Well, I'm just going to be both talking. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Leave like some comments at the bottom. Yes. And see if we can answer some of your questions. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't personally take them too much, you know, you might No, up, oh god, no, no don't friends. actually use this as advice, Jesus. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe.